Okay, so good afternoon and good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you spread across the, across the globe. Thank you very much for joining us in this. Uh, let's hope we are returning to some kind of regular seminar here. I'm really delighted to say that this is a hybrid seminar. So we have a small audience here at ICTP. And we also have audience uh, logged in from um, Brazil to Uzbekistan, from many different countries. And it is a particular pleasure for me to introduce the uh, first speaker of this uh, returning to normality era, uh, Professor Akdam Zalilov from uh, Turin Polytechnic in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Um, uh, Professor Zalilov was a student of Sinai and has since been doing a very good research work in Uzbekistan on a very sophisticated uh, results on circle homeomorphism. He's going to give us a little bit of a glimpse of that today. He has been visiting ICTP for more than 20 years. He has been here many, many times. He's participated in many conferences. He's been here for six months at a time sometimes. And he is now an ICTP senior associate. So he's visiting in that capacity. And we are very, very pleased to have him. And uh, so without further ado, let me ask Professor Zalilov to start the seminar. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I am very happy to be in ICTP again. I like to be here. Thank you very much to Professor Luzato for uh, warm science atmosphere. Let us begin my talk. Let F be <coughs> orientation circle homeomorphism. Orientation preserve circle homeomorphism. Uh, such a kind of circle homeomorphism first was studied by Andrew Poincaré uh, at the end of the 19th century. And then first, uh, uh, fundamental results also belongs to Poincaré. So let F be uh, orientation circle, orientation prism circle homeomorphism with the uh, irrational rotation number. <coughs> Roy's rotation number of the, this homeomorphism, which is all time well defined. Now, <coughs> uh, HS uh, homeomorphism can be defined as uh, mod 1 for any x from the circle. So um, f of x can be defined by some function, capital F of x, by this formula. And uh, where f of x satisfies these two uh, conditions, f is, uh, this function is from R1 to R1, and uh, uh, is continuous. Uh, strictly increasing on a real line. And the second, <coughs> f of x plus 1, f of x plus 1, equal to f of x plus 1 for any, for any x. So uh, this function uniformly defined by this formula, f of x satisfies these two conditions. f of x usual function on the real line. Capital F of x is called lift function, is lift function or simple lift function of 
homeomorphism f. If we know one of them, one <coughs> lift function, then other ones we can define as f of x plus k, where k is any integer. So uh, the class of all, <coughs> if we have one homeomorphism, then it is it, we can define by the class of uh, such kind lift functions. We will give one of them. Other ones we can define by this way. It is a countable set. Now, uh, I want to introduce the one important notion. Uh, it is uh, dynamical partitions. Dynamical partitions of the circle. Now, in the circle, we can define many kinds of partitions. Uh, now, I give the definition of uh, uh, dynamical partitions, which is very useful in the proving many uh, important theorems in circle dynamics. So, <clears throat> first, I need uh, very short information about continuous functions. So. If uh, yeah, continuous fractions, so if we have uh, notation number all time between zero and one, uh, if we have a, a row, then we can express it as continuous fraction in the following form, one over k1 plus one over k2 and so on, uh, plus one over kn plus so on. And uh, this one we can uh, rewrite in the short form, k1, k2, and so on, kn. And uh, so if rho is <coughs> irrational number, in this case, it can be uh, written as continuous fraction. Uh, it is infinite here because rho is irrational, irrational number. If rho is rational number, then uh, this continuous fraction will uh, finite. Uh, this, is, this expression is unique. Now <coughs> we define uh, rational numbers, uh, Pn over Qn, by using this uh, continuous fraction as Q1, Q2, and Qn for any n. And then these uh, numbers, Pn over Qn, uh, this quotient is at, uh, <coughs> 10 to 2 rho, and then at yes, so this uh, P, uh, Pn over Qn, 10 to 2 rho, and Pn and Qn call it, <coughs> call it uh, convergence of the rotation number rho. Uh, here, uh, I will write the following estimate, this one is main estimate here, the uh, rho minus Pn over Qn less or equal to Qn times Qn plus 1, which shows that it tends to uh, uh, rho, this convergence to rho, uh, which satisfies these uh, bounds. Qn tends to infinity because it is a rational number. Now, <coughs> Uh, the numbers Qn uh, are called first, first uh, return times. First return times. Uh, now we, we can define the dynamic partitions. So, uh, we will <coughs> take any point and uh, consider it is orbit. Orbit of this point uh, by F, it is the following set Xi uh, is the ith iteration of X0. 
<coughs> if uh, all time we suppose that rho is irrational, then this orbit uh, for maps with irrational rotation number, this orbit all time will infinite. So this sequence is infinite. Uh, for <coughs> uh, pure rotation, pure rotation is this map, f of x equal to x plus rho via uh, mod 1. Uh, this map is called uh, linear rotation. Uh, for this map, it is a very simple map, and for this map, all time uh, the orbit of any point is dense on the circle. But in general, uh, this depends on uh, density of this orbit, depends on uh, smoothness of the given uh, map F. Now we take this orbit, uh, uh, x0 is fixed, and then using this uh, orbit, we can define the uh, sequence of dynamical partitions, x0 here, and then now we will take the part of the orbit x1, uh, x0, x1, and uh, so on xn minus 1 plus xn minus 1. Here, exactly qn minus 1 plus qn first q, uh, points here of this uh, orbit. The, the, we will take first this segment. Uh, they are here. And then closest <coughs> Uh, one are here q, x, q, n minus one, and x, q, n are closest uh, <coughs> points of the segment which are close to x zero. Uh, if uh, n is even, then x, q, n uh, lies uh, to the right side of x zero, and uh, if n is uh, odd, to the left side of uh, x zero. Other points of this uh, uh, points of this set uh, here, away of this interval. Uh, the, the interval uh, we denote by G n. It is x q n minus one x q n, and this interval is called n's renormalization interval uh, at the point x zero. So, <clears throat> but this one is the reason why Q n are called first return times. After Q n steps, it is almost well back to the point x zero. And now, <clears throat> we, uh, these points here, they are Q n minus one plus Q n, and then these points here um, uh, um, define some uh, partition, which is n's dynamic partition. And this partition uh, can be described, described by following way. We denote this uh, uh, small, uh, this one by delta n minus one, delta n minus one zero. Uh, this is the interval at the segment <coughs> with n points uh, x q n minus one x zero. Uh, also, we def uh, denote by Delta n zero. Ah, bigger. Just a little bit bigger for all people like me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I will write bigger. So x uh, zero, x uh, q n. So <coughs> uh, we uh, here uh, denote by delta n minus one zero this segment, the segment which with endpoints x, q, n minus 1, x, 0, and this one we denote by delta n, 0. They are here. This one is delta n minus 1, 0, delta n, 0. Now, <coughs> other intervals we introduce by following way. So delta, now we <coughs> denote by xi n of x, 0, the set of intervals delta n minus 1, 0, and delta n minus 1, 1, and so on, delta n minus 1, qn minus 1, 
is here uh, Qn intervals of rank n minus 1. This one is initial interval of, n, uh, of rank n minus 1. This one is initial interval of rank n. These are iterations delta n minus 1 i is, uh, i is iteration of the initial interval of this one. Not the same here also. We can write about delta n uh, g also. And the uh, union uh, also the intervals delta n 0, delta n 1, and so on, delta n uh, q n minus 1, minus 1. So now we denote this uh, system by xi n of x 0, and here uh, q n uh, intervals of rank n minus 1, and q n minus 1 intervals of rank n. This uh, one exactly gives us the partition which we get here using these points. So uh, this partition which we uh, defined by, uh, using this, uh, by these points, we can <coughs> get by this way. It is uh, proved first by Danjoa. So uh, this one is called xi n x0 of x0 is called uh, n's dynamical partition of the circle. Uh, of course, it depends on x0 of initial point x0. And if we change x0, it is also changed. Then also it depends on f, of course. I, I don't write it, but it, it depends on f. Uh, what happens if, uh, uh, if we pass from xn, x0 to next uh, to the next partition xi n plus 1 x0. Uh, <coughs> all intervals of uh, rank n, but this one is uh, big intervals for, for linear, linear rotation, but this one is really big intervals, this one is small intervals. So uh, h interval of rank will preserve it. This means each interval of rank n is element of xi n plus 1, but each of uh, the intervals of rank n minus 1 divided to uh, k n plus 1 plus 1 intervals uh, by the following way. So each interval, uh, for example, I will write it for the uh, initial one, uh, delta n minus 1, 0 is delta <coughs> n plus 1, 0, and then as ones here, delta n, uh, z, uh, delta n, uh, q n minus 1 plus s times q n, where s changes from 0 till k n plus 1 minus 1. No, I can draw it here also. So if this one is x0, x q n minus 1, no. This one is the interval delta n minus 1, 0. Here, uh, the interval delta n, 0. Then the big interval, the interval n minus 1, 0, divided this one, delta n plus 1, 0. Other ones are the intervals of rank n. So h interval. Uh, of this set divided exactly to kn plus 1 plus 1 intervals of the next <coughs> partition xi n plus 1. So we get by this way the uh, sequence of increasing partitions of dynamic partitions. This means each interval of xi n is union of the uh, next partition. Uh, now uh, about uh, be, uh, behavior of the lengths of, this, uh, of the elements of the dynamic partition. This depends on 
uh, smoothness of the function f. For few rotation, for f rho, for linear rotation, delta n, the length of delta n, <coughs> we denote by this way, delta n's length equal to uh, qn times rho minus pn. And this one is, uh, in the case of pure rotation, the length of the uh, interval of rank n. So in, the, in the case of pure rotation, they are equal. The length of these intervals of all these intervals equals this one also. And then uh, it tends to uh, zero because uh, if you rewrite this as qn times rho minus pn over qn, then uh, for this one, I give the <coughs> uh, bounds. So we have here qn times 1 over qn times qn plus 1. And then we get here 1 over qn plus 1. So qn plus 1, this tends to infinity exponentially. So this means the, uh, the length of this one tends to 0 exponentially fast. But this one is for a pure <coughs> linear rotation. Uh, in general, I won't formulate lemma. <coughs> let B, let F B circle diffeomorphism. Uh, circle diffeomorphism. Uh, with a uh, uh, irrational rotation number rho. Uh, F is uh, invertible. Uh, F belongs to the class C1, and the uh, inverse map uh, also belongs to the class C1 on the circle. Now, uh, we <coughs> denote by V, uh, total variation of uh, derivative of f. Uh, then we suppose this one is finite. So total variation is finite of f prime. Then, then delta n, the length of delta n less or equal to some constant times lambda degree n uh, for n bigger or equal to 1, where delta n of x0 is any element of xi n of x0. So in the case of diffeomorphisms, which smoothness a little bit better than C1 because this condition, in this case, the, the length of uh, uh, intervals of dynamic partition tends to zero exponentially. Yeah, lambda, uh, what is lambda? lambda? I will write lambda is uh, 1 over square root 1 plus uh, exponent degree minus v. v is total jump, v is, uh, which is positive. So this one is less than 1. So lambda depends on total variation. In some sense, uh, is, it is even lesser. So for diffeomorphisms with uh, this condition, uh, the le uh, length of the dynamic partitions tends to zero. So <coughs> now uh, we can see that also uh, the circle homeomorphisms with uh, breakpoints or piecewise circle homeomorphisms with a finite number of breakpoints. This means uh, we consider the following kind. Uh, maps uh, it, at H, but here at the left derivative, uh, the it is positive, right one also is positive. 
and then they are different parts. So at this point, the graph has here this uh, has corner here also, and so this one is break points. Piecewise, smooth map with a finite number of break points. If we uh, have uh, F, uh, we, which uh, satisfies on H. Uh, on H interval on continuity of F prime, here it is, set, uh, and then on this interval between consecutive breakpoints, F uh, prime is continuous. Moreover, on the circle, if total variation again of this function is uh, finite, in this case, this uh, lemma is true. So we can generalize this lemma for piecewise circle maps with uh, uh, finite total uh, variation. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, in this case also uh, we have these bounds. Uh, what these bounds give us, if we have uh, well, this one we have for all n, so if we consider the sequence of uh, dynamic partitions, which endpoints are the uh, points of this orbit, we use it all time uh, at the points of this orbit. This means these bounds uh, or this estimate show that um, the, this orbit is dense on, uh, on the circle. It is dense on the circle. So we have orbit which is, and uh, if F satisfies this condition, which orbit is uh, dense on the circle. Using this fact also, so we have uh, the, this map, now we can, uh, using this fact, we can uh, construct the conjugation map also. Uh, in fact, we are proving the classical danger theorem. So we have here orbit, which is dense. Uh, by this fact, we suppose F satisfies this condition. Then uh, we will do following. So we will take two <coughs> two uh, copies of the circle. Uh, here we can see the, on the second one we can see the F row, here F, and then take here the point X0, and then, uh, and then here we can see the, the orbit of X0, uh, here we can see the also the orbit X0 by, by the linear rotation, then we denote by x n bar, the f rho of x zero. So uh, this orbit also here dense because it is linear rotation. Uh, and now we can define uh, the conjugating map phi by following the, so f phi of x i was set as x i bar here. For example, if x one is here, at the point x1, we define uh, phi as x1 bar. Orbit to orbit, pass it orbit to orbit. So we define here this function for all uh, uh, points of the orbit. Now, uh, this function defined on the uh, set, uh, on the countable set, which is dense here. And the second, this function is uh, Increasing, it is because uh, it is <coughs> this function is increasing because the uh, order of this uh, orbit, or the, the orbit of x zero by f uh, rho, they, are, they has the same order, and this uh, gives us the monotonicity of the map phi on the set uh, or on the orbit. So. Uh, now, using the continuity, using this uh, monotonicity, we can extend the map for uh, two uh, circle to the uh, zero one. By this way, we construct the <coughs> map phi on the circle, and then, moreover, we can check. First, we can check for this uh, for the points of orbit. And uh, because on, at other points, uh, away of the orbit, we will construct by limit, it satisfies the following condition, phi of f, uh, phi composition f, uh, equal to f rho phi. So this means they are topologically equivalent. 
phi is called conjugating map or conjugation. So by this way, if uh, we have this estimate, uh, which give us the density of the orbit, we can construct the conjugating map phi. So, and then it satisfies this condition. So this means if uh, F is diffeomorphism, uh, which satisfies this condition, then <coughs> F and the F rho, rho is a rotation number of F, they are topologically conjugated by conjugation phi. In fact, we proved the sketch of prop of the classical Dengio theorem. Uh, so now <coughs> this theorem also uh, is true for such maps. For such maps, uh, this fact we can uh, it is uh, it, we can find uh, in the Hermann's book in French. Uh, now <coughs> about <coughs> but from uh, theorem. Then Joa, but this one is called, uh, we proved the classical theorem Then Joa, uh, we can decide only about uh, continuity of the conjugation phi, no information about smoothness of phi. So the smoothness of this uh, conjugating map phi is uh, one of main uh, problems of uh, circle dynamics. And then this problem, uh, present time, well studied for the class circle diffeomorphisms. Here, main results obtained by Arnold, uh, Erman, Jokos, and Moser, Katzenson, Arnstein, and Kaninen, Sinai, and others. So now, uh, I give the definition of invariant measure, and this uh, conjugating map uh, can be, no, there is one remarkable fact. Uh, first, I will uh, give the <coughs> definition of invariant measure. So uh, if we can say that on the circle Borel sigma algebra, and then uh, the probability measure mu, and then F is F is circle homeomorphism. Uh, now invariant measure is mu such that mu of A equal to mu of F minus one A. This one is pre image of A. For any A from sigma algebra B. Borel sigma algebra, it is minimal sigma uh, algebra containing all intervals on the circle. Uh, I give this definition for circle. Uh, it is also, uh, we can give uh, for any transformation on measurable space. But I, am con I concentrate only to the circle. Now, uh, this one is definition of invariant measure, probably invariant measure. Now, uh, in the general case, if we consider um, Maps on uh, metrical space, there is classical theorem, Bogolyov Krylov's classical theorem, which states that if we consider uh, compact metrical space, and then on this space, if we consider any continuous map, then this map uh, has at least one invariant probability measure, the general theorem. But in this case, in the case circle maps, uh, uh, I formulate the following uh, main theorem. So let F be uh, circle homeomorphism with irrational rotation number. Then then uh, F is strictly ergodic. Strictly ergodic. This means uh, F has F has 
unique probability invariant measure, mu f. So in the case of circular homeomorphism with one, uh, with a uh, Russian rotation number, uh, f has only one uh, probability invariant measure. Now, this, uh, using this invariant measure, we can construct or define the conjugation phi. So this one is a remarkable fact. In the circle dynamics, phi of x we can define as invariant measure of the segment x0, x. So x0 is fixed point. We can take uh, 0 also. And then this one we can rewrite also as integral by segment x0, x as uh, d mu. So <coughs> uh, phi of x, the conjugation, we can define uh, by this formula. So this uh, shows that phi of x is, in fact, the distribution function of probability major mu. But this one is probability where is called distribution function. So this for formula shows that if phi is smooth function, then mu is uh, absolutely continuous. Derivative of uh, phi gives us the density of mu. And uh, also, if mu is absolutely continuous uh, with respect to Lebesgue major, then phi is smooth function. So this uh, uh, formula shows that, yeah. So this follows simply because it's not unique, so they have to map to each other. Yeah. This is one of them. Yeah. yeah. So. The, the, the measure? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Then one. But in fact, this formula is true for any circle homeomorphism. It doesn't depend on smoothness. If it is uh, sufficiently smooth, then phi is homeomorphism, and it, it can be defined by this formula. The to the yes, to the region, yes. Uh, now, <coughs> uh, Why phi, uh, why phi is continuous, yes? No, because uh, if rho is irrational, uh, all time mu is uh, continuous measure. This means it is non-atomic. Uh, the measure of H points, point set, is pa uh, uh, zero. Mu of the point uh, Z zero equal to zero all time. It is uh, continuous. We say it is continuous, which are non-atomic, they are same. Using this fact, we can see this phi is all time, it is continuous function. Phi is continuous function. But in the, without uh, uh, condition to uh, smoothness, phi is all, all time continuous function, but not uh, homeomorphism. Uh, we get homeomorphism only in the case if f, initial map f, is minimal. This means uh, the orbit of H point is dense on the circle. But if we have these estimates, in this case, it, is, uh, uh, it holds. Yes, uh, if F is minimal, then uh, phi is uh, conjugation. Then T at TF is topologically conjugated. Uh, now, <coughs> I formulate our theorem about invariant measures of such maps. Uh, as, as I said, that uh, in the case of uh, circle diffeomorphisms, this problem of smoothness well studied. And then uh, last theorem uh, was proved in the end of 80 years using the renormalization uh, method. And then uh, last theorem belongs to Hanin and Sinai, also do, to Katznesan and Arnstein for diffeomorphisms. Uh, and then uh, for diffeomorphisms, um, 
if uh, rotation uh, for typical rotation numbers and for sufficiently uh, smooth uh, diffeomorphisms, all time invariant major is absolutely continuous with respect to Lebesgue major. Now I uh, formulate some results concerning to piecewise uh, smooth uh, homeomorphisms with uh, several breakpoints. So <coughs> let let F Let F uh, be piecewise smooth circle homeomorphism from class C2 plus epsilon. Uh, if, uh, uh, if F has breakpoints, then on H interval, here on H interval of continuity F prime, uh, uh, derivative of F, F belongs to the class C2 plus epsilon. This means F is two times differentiable. The second derivative satisfies Hölder Holder's condition with uh, uh, epsilon on H interval between consecutive breakpoints. Uh, and rho is and with irrational rotation number rho. Also, we suppose that uh, derivative, derivative is positive is bigger than some positive constant for any x uh, from this set. So B1, B2, and Bm are breakpoints of the map F. Uh, we denote, uh, I will write here, the, we denote by uh, B uh, I the uh, jump of this function at the point B A minus B A B I. This one is left derivative at this point. Aha, uh -huh, it is too small. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, G uh, sigma of B. I, what is sigma? Yeah, I will uh, okay. I, definition this one uh, is F derivative F at the point B I. This one is left derivative divided by right derivative. This one, this one is called jump of the uh, F at the point at the break point B I. Uh, because this one is breakpoint. Now, <coughs> let F be uh, piecewise smooth homeomorphism from this class with rotation number rho. Uh, derivative is positive, where it is well defined. And uh, uh, the total jump, I will give, I will write here, total jump is the product sigma B i, i from 1 till m. So if f has m uh, break points, at each point we define jump ratio, and then this product we call uh, total jump of f by all break points. It is product of um, jumps. If uh, total jump non equal to 1, then, then, uh, invariant major of mu is singular. Singular with respect to 